Good morning everyone, it's Tom here from One Site Solutions and in today's video I'm going to show you how to switch between different Niagara versions installed on a machine. Um, this could be Niagara 4 and will be in this demonstration but this also applies to AX if you have that installed as well. So as you can see in front of me here I've got 4.7.109.20 open. A quick look at the platform will also confirm that I'm running the 47109 platform in platform administration. 47109, there we go, daemon version. So uh, let's say I'm an engineer and I've left this site and I've got to go to a site running 4.4 .4 now. So we're close, close workbench there. And this is the first place of interest we need to look, your Niagara installation directory, which by, by default is C slash Niagara, and then you've got all your installed versions here. So before we go any further, let's just take a look at what the platform daemon actually is. When you hear the words platform daemon, what, what are we talking about? Well, in Windows in particular, in this example, if you open up Windows Services, which services.msc from the start menu, for those that don't know, you can find Niagara in the list there. And here you'll see there's a Windows service um, called Niagara and it's running this executable here which you'll note is currently 4710920 um, slash bin slash niagara.exe that's the Niagara runtime environment that's what allows um, a station to run on a system um, without user interaction without workbench being open without the system being logged on it's what makes it start automatically so if you close your Windows service and back into your Niagara installation directory here, we can open up our 4.4 installation folder and then go into the bin folder. And there was that Niagara D.exe that you just saw referenced as a service, albeit 4.7. The file we're interested in here is console.exe. So if we open that, note it runs as, as administrator. Now there are multiple ways to do this including some predefined shortcuts but I'd always suggest um, it, it's good to get a little bit hands on with the console some basic commands um, and it's definitely good to be familiar with your installation folder file structure there. So note that we're currently in my 4.4 .4 installation directory in the bin subfolder and we've launched console as administrator. Um, 4.4 so the command we're interested in is plat space install daemon or one word so plat space install daemon or one word hit the enter key okay so this is going to go ahead and overwrite our existing niagara service um particularly with one with a path that points to this executable here within the 4.4 .4 subfolder as opposed to the 4.7 folder that it did previously so what that means is if we now go into our Windows services and refresh the view, you will see the Niagara service path to executable now points to 4494.14, which means our platform daemon is running in the same version as Workbench, which we are about to launch. And that means you're effectively running a completely clean and separated 4.4 now, 4.4 .4 platform daemon, a 4.4 .4 workbench. There's no accidental crossover because you can actually open any version of workbench regardless of what platform daemon is running. But you may and likely will encounter strange problems that may or may not give you error messages. So it's always best practice, one version of workbench combined with the corresponding version of the platform daemon, and you'll be good. So that process you just seen there can be repeated for any version of Niagara running on your machine. Like I say, just a quick recap, you open up the console within the bin folder of the corresponding version that you want to use, and the command is plat space install daemon. That's it for today, guys. I hope you learned something. If you uh, like this type of videos, please subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to check out our website. Thank you.